This was, as Nicole was just reporting, the fourth day of this Chauvin trial wrapping up. Chauvin's police supervisor testifying just moments ago he should have stopped using restraint. The officer should have when Floyd was no longer showing any resistance. When Mr. Floyd was no longer offering up any resistance to the officers, they could have ended their restraint. That is a significant, albeit simple, moment in the trial. But sometimes what's simple is important because the jury can understand it and remember it. You have the actual police supervisor for the murder defendant condemning the officer, the defendant, on the stand. This came after paramedics. Uh, paramedics testified that Floyd seemed to be dead when they arrived on the scene. When I arrived on the scene, um, there was police squad, an individual laying down, three officers on the individual. What did his condition appear to be to you overall? In lay terms, I thought he was dead. I kind of get looked for my partner and told him I think he's dead and I want to move this out of here. Okay. And I will begin care in the back. In lay terms, I thought he was dead. Again, simple, clear, Sad and tragic as well, but important for the jury to hear this in plain English because it all is part of the prosecution's case here. We also heard from the paramedics who took Floyd to the hospital. Graphic images shown of Floyd on the stretcher. En route, paramedics say that Floyd appeared unresponsive, not breathing, with Chauvin, with Chauvin still basically on him when they have first arrived. Now, inside the courtroom, a juror was also seen holding her hand over her mouth as she watched some of this. And we also today saw the first time someone very close to Floyd, his girlfriend, providing her views, her recollections, her emotional testimony about their relationship. When was it that you first met Mr. Floyd? May I tell the story? Sure. Okay. Uh, it's one of my favorite stories to tell. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Um, I said, well, can I pray with you? This kind person just to come up to me and say, can I pray with you? When I felt alone in this lobby, it was so sweet.